science. In this video, let's take a look at tides. Tides are the rise and fall of sea levels caused by three items, the gravitational force of the moon, the gravitational force of the sun, and the rotation of the earth. So let's take a look and see how these three items cause tides. Up first, gravity is the force of attraction between two objects. Anything that has mass also has gravity. Objects with more mass have more gravity. Gravity also gets weaker with distance. So the closer an object is to one another, the stronger their gravitational pull is. Although the moon is much smaller than the sun, the moon's gravity has a much more pronounced effect on the Earth's ocean. Because it is closer than the sun, on the side of the Earth that faces the moon, the pull of gravity causes the ocean, ocean to bulge outward. On the other side of the Earth, the moon's pull on the solid ground causes the oceans to bulge. The Earth rotates on its axis, so this bulge, which is called the tidal bulge, is constantly changing direction. In this simulation, watch how the tidal bulge changes as the moon revolves around the Earth and the Earth rotates on its axis. Where the bulge is larger, it's high tide, and where it is smaller, it is low tide. In this picture, you can see the difference between high and low tide. Tidal range is the height difference between high tide and low tide. The world's largest tidal range is 16.3 meters or 53 and a half feet, and this occurs in the Bay of Fundy found in Canada. Most places go through two high tides and two low tides each day. If you're on part of the earth facing the moon, you're at high tide. Six hours later, you will be at low tide. Six hours later again, you will be at high tide again. And then six hours later, you are back at low tide. And finally, after six more hours, you're back at high tide. Approximately twice a month, around new moon and full moon, when the sun, moon, and earth form a straight line, the tidal force is at its maximum, and the tidal range is also at its maximum, and these are called spring tides. When the moon is at first and third quarter, the sun and moon are separated by 90 degrees, and the solar tidal force cancels the moon's tidal force, and the tidal range is at its minimum. These tides are called neap tides. If you'd like to know more about tides, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.